This is Geometry Chapter 1-1, the second part of Nets and Drawings for Visualizing Geometry. And this video specifically is to introduce orthographic views. So I made this video that, there you go, of some dice that I stuck together with scotch tape. And you'll see I wrote, I'm going to rotate it around, the so this way you can have a good view of this from up above. And I snapped a, a shot of it up here in the right corner, which is an isometric type view. Um, so now we're going to focus on specifically looking at it from the front. And you get to see my great skills at holding a webcam. There you go. So now it's labeled as a front view. And I'll rotate this around so that you'll get a left view. And I'll rotate it again so that you get the back view. And then I'll rotate it again so you get the right side view. And then you get to see me stumble with a webcam when I'm aiming for a top view. And you can see there that I watched Star Trek Voyager. There you go. And look at that high-tech labeling for a top view. Just throw on a piece of paper there. There's your top view. Okay. Now I took um, snapshots of each of those images, so let's go to the next page. There you go. So there's your original image here. Put a three dimensional view here, and then here I'm aiming at specifically looking at the right and the front and the top. Now let's try to draw this cold by looking at the picture here and sketching it. There's the same picture. Now I'm going to aim for the front view, looking at it from this point of view. Now looking at it from this point of view, you've got one, two, three, four going across and one sticking up. So look at that fantastic straight line. Right, and then we have one sticking up. This is the one that's sticking up. Now this this one here is the is the one that's bulging forward, but you have to remember, let me see if I can take that back. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. When you look at it specifically from that point of view in the front, you can't tell that that's projecting forward. But you can see that this part's sticking up. Now from a top point of view, let me erase my little arrow. Looking straight down. Keep it still oriented towards the front here. So we're looking at, looking across, we've got four dice. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four going across. And this is the one sticking forward. Now see, look, let me label it. The one that's sticking forward has got two dots in this image. And in this image from the front, it would have been just one dot, because you're looking at it from this side. Whereas looking down from the, looking from the top, you've got the two marks there. So here I'll try to put the right dots everywhere so this way we got this image correct. Wow. What a great job sketching, huh? Okay, so that's the top view. Front view, let's see, we've got four here, one, two, three. Three, four, you've got two and four. See, there's the five on the top there. Okay. Um, okay, right view. Right view is looking at it from this side here. So you look at it that way, we've got four cubes there, one to the left, and one up above. Pretty certain. Ah, I was happy until I drew that last line. 
Okay. Um, let's see. You've got, from this point of view, one, two stacked up, and this one sticking out. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So thank you for watching this video.